Grizzly Pigeon Auctions, Pioneer Racing Pigeon Club of Ontario. I am here with Geert and Leandra Munich. This is something that I use, that I learned from them. I like it. Now I'm gonna give you guys this tip because you know what, I, I didn't come up with it so I can't take the, the credit for it. Mm -hmm. But I've seen you guys do it. This is just a regular... Uh, yeah, just a stick. A stick, it's like a little cane. Yeah. Got a rubber end, it's got a point on it. Yeah. You see? Why do you use this? What's this for? No, it's not for school or something. No, okay. just kidding. <laughs> no. No, uh, it's... Um, I use it at home for my hands. Uh -huh. You know, they come out for race when they co come back in. You know, we do the uh, play with the widowhood thing. Yes. So then I drive them with the stick again to their box. The, yeah, the hand boxes. You, you tap it. On, you tap it on yeah, the floor. Just a little. But when I want to uh, that they go out for fly, uh -huh. I tap it harder. So, so they know I open the doors uh -huh. and then I tap hard. You tap the stick yeah. and they know that means to and go out. And they know, oh, I have to go out. So they poop and uh, they go out. And, and, and this stick idea, if a, if, a, if a pigeon is not doing what you ask, going in the box, going to where it is, do you use the stick to no. move them? No. No. You just no. tap it? Yo, no. we, we never touch them. Never touch no. them? No. no, never. Okay. If sometimes it, it, it happens, you know, that when the uh, hands are going into, when they eat, yes. when they drink, you know, we let them stay for half an hour. Right. And to do everything, eating, drinking, okay, you have enough. And then I come in, I open the door, I tap really soft, really soft, and then they they go in, they know it. You tap the stick lightly yeah. and they go in. But sometimes a hen sneaks by you. Yeah, sneaks by me, and then I ri get rid of the stick and then I just ah, grab her. So you don't use the them. stick to move them even? No. Okay. No. See, I, I used it as well to do that, to move them around. Okay. I found it worked very well. Yeah. I, I think. Uh, one good thing about the stick is, it's not your hands. Yeah. You know, if you want to move, like yeah. I use for the photos, yeah. the pigeons seem to understand yeah. this better mm -hmm. than your hand. Yeah. Your hand is yeah. like, Ugh, no. no. But I find this stick idea excellent. I know you have, this is right out of your loft. Yeah. But so, but my, my father also do it with the breeders. Uh -huh. You know, when when the lights uh, go out of it became dark. Right. He wants them to have them in their own safe place. Yeah, yes. In the evening. In, in in the evening, and then also when it's he winter, a little, and then everybody knows. To I have not a clock in my uh, breeding lofts. Right. I make the the lights uh, on, and uh, before then I uh, make with the stick uh, of the of the floor. And all the pigeons they go in the backs, and then you shut the lights and off. And then I make the yeah. lights on. So you all, you're also telling them to go to go to sleep. Yeah. You yeah. use the stick, yeah. the sound of the stick. They understand it. They know it. And guys, this isn't something you do once in a while. You do. You guys use the stick every day. Yeah. Every it's day. part of the the system. Yeah. yeah. Part yeah. of the system yeah. as, as we talked about. Yeah. You know, not an expensive tool. No. No. Doesn't have to be, does it? No. Yeah. Common sense. Yeah. But guys, this little tip right here, it only works if you use it day in and day out. You can't use it today and then wait four days and use it again. It doesn't work that way. No, because no. if you not use it every day, and they don't know. You put it away for a week and, and you just. Uh, then you make the pigeons angry. Yeah. 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 Yes. Angry, but also scared. Yeah, also scared. Yeah. Well, everyone in your loft, you should have a Munich stick. I named it. A <laughs> Munich stick. Yeah. yeah. Guys, thanks for this tip. We appreciate it. But do easy, yeah, on your pigeons. Don't. Whack. <laughs> All right. No whacking. Easy. No, whack, no whacking with them. Don't get crazy. And hey, yeah. instead of whacking the pigeon, whack yourself. I'm Ryan, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions, Pioneer Racing Pigeon Club. That's the Munich. I better watch out. Take your stick back. <laughs> Thanks for flying with us, guys. Enjoy your evening. Bye. Oh, that was a fun